welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and it's Christmas. Well, he's not excited. <laughs> Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Katie and I am a Christmas fool. I just am. I love everything about Christmas. So, you know, today's video is especially heartwarming to me. Sorry if you can hear my heater, but she's cold. She's, she's cold and I'm not warm blooded. So I need the heat. I need the heat. Okay. So what we're doing in today's video is talking about my holiday TBR, my December TBR, you know, whatever you want to call it. I did do like a holiday collection of all my holiday books that I own. And in that video, I will link it up here for you guys if you want to watch it. But I did say like, I would like to read all of these books. That's not gonna happen. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. But I did pick the ones that I, I, I want to read the most. And then I was looking on Kindle and I was thinking, you know what? There's a lot of cute Christmas novellas that I could read on Kindle Unlimited and still be in the Christmas spirit. So what I chose, I chose five physical books on my TBR and then I chose five Kindle Unlimited books. So I've got you covered from both sides. You know, we're good to go. Cause like some people don't have time to physically carry a book with them, read it during the holidays. I feel sorry for those people, but though they exist, I've heard. So I've got you with the Kindle Unlimited books, if that's what you're into and you just wanna grab it and go. So without waiting any longer, let's just get in to the books. Okay, so first up on my list is the book that I am already currently reading because I am ahead of schedule for once and it's an amazing feeling. It really is. Okay. Tessa Bailey's new book, Window Shopping. This is a good like 240, 50 pages. It's short. It's smutty. You know, it's everything that you need at Christmas time, really. It's based around Christmas time. They're all based around Christmas time. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not saying that anymore. These are all Christmas books. So you should know. But this book <laughs> specifically is about a girl who just got out of prison. What's your name? Why can't I give your name? This is the story of Stella. Hey, Stella! And Aiden. Stella is your grumpy. Aiden is your sunshine. So it's a reverse. Grumpy and sunshine. It's fantastic. He is the owner of this department store. She is looking in the window of the department store and is kind of unimpressed by the window decorations. And when he asks her what she would do, she kind of spouts off what she would do. He becomes interested. He's like, you should apply for the job that we have. And she doesn't know that he owns the building just yet until she goes to the interview, finds out, well, hmm turns out that he is a six foot four hunk of a man and she is just this little itty bitty always dressed in black he wears a bow tie he wears christmas bow ties so that is your sunshine if to it he okay but it's they're gonna get together it's a romance you know how it happens and it's smutty it's steamy it's tessa bailey you can't go wrong with a good tessa bailey novella at christmas time the next book on my list is the holiday swap by maggie knox and this is the story of two twins, Charlie and Cass, who decide to swap places for the holidays. Charlie is a famous chef and Cass runs the family bakery. So when their lives aren't going quite according to plan, they decide to swap lives. And I'm assuming that there's love interest in, cause you know how it goes with the holidays. Everyone's in love and it's just a good time. So very interested in reading this one as well. The next one on my list is Blame It on the Mistletoe by Beth Gerard or Garrett. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. It's okay. This is basically like the holiday, but set in like teen, new adult situation, pretty much. Um, we have a social influencer who wants to gain more followers. So she decides to switch places with one of her fans to gain the subscribers or followers or whatever platform she's using. It's probably Instagram. 
and that's what happens her i'm pretty sure it's her fan has a twin brother and then when the fan goes to her house there's a guy across the street that she falls in love with so basically the holiday but set a little younger and i'm here for it because kate lonsolet's my favorite actress and she's in the holiday however to be completely honest i don't like the holiday oh no she didn't i don't like it i don't i just i don't i don't like it <laughs> so <laughs> Go figure. But this is kind of a thicker book as well. Uh, what is it? Like 350? That's not that bad then. I'm just being dramatic. But I love the cover. If anything, that pink cover is gorgeous. The next book I've talked about on my channel past couple videos, I feel like. But it's the tourist attraction. And I can't really tell you if it's based in Christmas. I really can't. But I do know it's set in Alaska and there's snow. And when I think Christmas, I think snow. But is this even in Christmas time? I don't know. But a lot of people, you know, connect it with it. So I'm going with it. This is a story about a guy named Graham who runs the tourist trap, which is like a local diner that all the tourists come to when they come to like to stay in Moose Springs. And they usually stay in like this big fancy hotel, but he has like the diner at the end of the mountain and they all come and he hates it. He was being facetious when he <laughs> called it the tourist trap, but it what it became and he's your classic grump. He meets Zoe, your classic sunshine. She is one of the tourists. So you know what's gonna happen and I'm here for it. They're gonna get together. Cause you know, at this point in the year, Christmas. I have stopped reading thrillers. I stopped being shocked by books. I just want the books that I know what I'm getting into. Okay, the romances, holiday romances. That's that's all I need. So when I say I know what's going to happen in all these books, I know the end product. I just don't know how we're getting there. And the last of my physical books is Nick and Noel's Christmas Playlist by Cody Hall. I've heard very mixed reviews about this book, okay? Very mixed, so I'm a little scared. But this is about Nick, who was so excited to come home for Christmas to spend it with his family and his girlfriend. But before he goes back home, he finds out his girlfriend was cheating on him while he was overseas. So they break up. He's really not in the holiday spirit. However, his family owns a Christmas tree farm and his lifelong best friend, Noelle works there. She is the embodiment of Christmas spirit. So he's hoping that she will kind of be able to pull him out of his funk that he's been feeling. They spend a night together, but not like that. You perverted people, they kiss and it feels right to him. So now he's conflicted. Should he, should he, should he not? I heard it's a little steamy. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not complaining, but we shall see if it's any good. Like I said, I've heard mixed reviews. So I'm a little scared. And then I, there's one book that I read every Christmas. I'll get it. Let me show you guys. Um, I don't read the classic Christmas Carol, but I do read a retelling of it. Um, the Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand is basically a retelling, well, it's a YA retelling of the Christmas Carol. It is about a girl named Holly who was visited by the three ghosts on Christmas and she did not change her ways and she died and she became the ghost of Christmas past. So for five years, I think, she's been working at Project Scrooge as the ghost of Christmas past. And this year is gonna be a little bit more tricky. So, you know, in a nutshell. Um, but I just always like to read some form of Christmas Carol every Christmas Eve. So it's this one this year. And then for all you guys who are just like, uh -uh, I don't have time for the books. I can't go pick out a book. I can't do anything, but I will carry my Kindle with me. I have a Kindle app. We're good to go. I've got five books for you on Kindle Unlimited that I also want to read, but also you can read if you're just like, I can't read the physical books, Katie. No ma'am, no ma'am. The first book is called The Christmas Pact by Vi Keeland and Penelope Ward. And this is about two people who work at a company, Riley Kennedy and Kennedy Riley. Their names are similar and there's a reason why they're similar. Okay. Their emails always end up getting sent to the wrong person. And Riley, when she gets her emails, from Kennedy, he always includes like this unsolicited advice. You know, he's the jerk, it's just how it is. But when they meet office Christmas party, she discovers he is a handsome jerk. So it changes things. They dance on the dance floor, they have a good time and they need something from each other. She's gotta go home to her family on the holidays and she's boyfriendless, aren't we all? And he needs a date to the wedding that he's going to. So what do we do? We play each other's 
lovers, right? Yeah, that's what the word I'm looking for. So she's gonna go home, he's gonna go home with her, she's gonna go to the wedding with him. And you know what's gonna happen, it's a romance. I don't need to tell you, I don't need to tell you that I'm not hoping, I'm hoping it's spicy. I'm hoping it's steamy. I think Vi Keelan does spicy, so fingers crossed. The next book is A Convenient Christmas by Jodie Holford, and this is basically about a girl who's the queen of Christmas. She loves it so much that she's made it her work in life. It's her business. Um, Abigail Smith is the heroine in the story, and she runs a business called A Convenient Christmas, and she does everything from wrapping your Christmas presents to like having like sit down feasts and all this extravagant things for, for Christmas. And she has this client who wants her to come and kind of like decorate and do things for the client's son. So he's a Scrooge and he, sh and he fires her. Finn is currently divorced and is spending the Christmas alone for the first time. And so when he enters his house and sees Abigail kind of trimming the tree and doing all those things, he overreacts and fires her like on the spot. Well, come to find out he will be spending the holidays with his daughter after all. So he kind of has to like bite the bullet and be like, you know, I messed up. Can you come back? I kind of need your help this holiday season to make it good for her. So you know what's going to happen. Grumpy sunshine. It's a beautiful thing. And I'm here for it. Plus the cover is so cute. I am loving every single one of these book covers from Kindle Unlimited. I love the illustrated book covers and I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. I absolutely. The next book is The Holiday X-Files by Jennifer Peel. The heroine in this story used to be called the Queen of Christmas. Everyone, that's what they called her until she walked in on her ex-husband under the Christmas tree with another woman, okay? Yeah, so she decided to digitally crop out his photo, like his, you know, him and all their photos, wedding photos, all this stuff. Well, she started getting requests of other from other people to do this with like their exes and she turned it into a business we love we love a boss babe here um so she creates this business called the holiday x files and things are going great until her ex's best friend comes back into the picture and he's like i am going to help you make the holidays great again i'm not too sure what his motive is whether he's just like a sunshine person and he just likes to see everyone happy at christmas which we love to see um so you know you know i've never really had the trope of the ex's best friend but I could get behind it. The next story is called The 12 Holidays and this is by Emma St. Clair. She's kind of known on Kindle Unlimited. If you're familiar with Kindle Unlimited, she has, you know, a good many books on there. Um, and this is our heroine decided to hide in a giant stocking in her boyfriend's house, apartment, wherever he lives to surprise him. Well, she soon learns she shouldn't have because she finds out he's cheating on her. Okay, so they break up, she goes to her best friend who happens to be Hunky Weston, okay? He's Hunky, he's, she She knows it, but you know, she's never gone with him because he was like the BFF. And he's like, you know what you should do? You should go through your 12 holidays that you had planned with your ex. We'll do them, you know, we can go out for the 12. And she's like, okay, sure, why not? However, <laughs> each date gets progressively worse than the last one. So she's really at a loss. She's like, there is no way I'm gonna be able to win over this guy by Christmas <laughs> because these dates are just getting so bad. Will they get together? Will they not? We all know they will. But it's still nice to pretend that we don't know. And the last book on my list is Eating Her Christmas Cookies by Alina Jacobs. Now, just the title alone, it's amazing to me. Okay. Okay, this is a story of Jack and he is your grump to our heroine Sunshine. He hates Christmas, he hates everything about Christmas, doesn't want anything to do with it. However, he kind of owns like this tower. He's a businessman, he's got money, you know, you know. And he decided to let the great Christmas Bake Off film in his building and he also agreed to be a judge. Enter Chloe. She loves Christmas. She loves everything about Christmas and she especially loves baking. Baking at Christmas. So she is going to become a contestant on the great 
Christmas Bake Off. So they they have a night. They apparently somehow they meet. They have a night. She goes up to his penthouse. She cooks him her cookies. He eats them. You know, I don't know if that's innuendo. And I'm I'm <laughs> I don't know. And that's got me so intrigued because I want to know if he's eating her cookies. If he's eating her cookies. And I just don't know. And I, I need to, I, I need to. So, you know, this book has me interested. So that's pretty much the story. You know, they're gonna get together, but also she's in the competition. So it's like, she's sleeping with the judge and how's that gonna work? But I'm excited. I'm excited to read about the cookies. But yeah, that is my list for my December TBR, my holiday TBR, whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you plan on reading this December. Is it a fully themed Christmas? Are you just going to read whatever suits your fancy? Let me know. And if you plan on reading any of these books, let me know down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new and would like to see more videos from myself. My social media is linked down below. Also, my Goodreads and my Instagram if you'd like to stay up to date with all the books that I am currently reading. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Dude, this is your time. You have to be excited. This is your time. Stay. Don't fall. <sighs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Let's just everywhere. Cats are everywhere. This is not fun no more. Now I don't remember what I was talking about, which I guess technically is a spoiler should I have said that. But I knew a uh, little what, what? 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 God. And she is the petty, the impediment, the embodiment, <laughs> the impediment. <laughs> no, that's not right. You know, um, <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> I'm so, okay. <laughs>